Hello, well, this is a quick intro of what you need, what you're going to use, just a quick um, checklist before we actually start. You need clay pebbles, preferably, like, probably the best medium you can use for deep water culture. Um, airline connectors, T's, straight and L 90 degree bends, which are perfect for when you're running your airline through and running it out the side rather than bending wire. It's best to have clean, um, clean lines. We have the 13 mil tube or half inch, which will be for the water level indicator on the side of the tub. We have one single air stone. I think this is about a two inch air stone. You can have multiple. I find one air stone right in dead in the center, right underneath the net pot, provides perfect aeration. You have a 90 degree, half inch again, 13 mil elbow, a 13 mil grommet for your um, water level indicator on the bottom, five inch net pot, this is 29 pence from a um, local aquatic store, you will pay a lot more in a hydroponic store, so try and go to your local garden centre or something to try and find one for a decent price. Hot glue gun for giving your airstone to the bottom of the bucket. You can use suckers, but uh, I find the glue gun tends to work the best with all my homemade systems. Six mil air tubing, which um, will go through the side of the bucket. I've already drilled my hole, but um, about a seven mil drill piece would be good for that. So you've got a bit of play getting it through, rather than it too tight and pinching and restricting the airflow. A 20 mil drill bit, for a trip to hold the bottom for your water level indicator and um, a fresh new blade on a sharp knife so when you're cutting your lid to put your net pot in you're cutting a nice clean clean cut look to make a good job if you're going to do it it's worth doing if the job's worth doing it's worth doing well as they like to say um, right i'll be back in the next video when i start to cut the lid in the next part i'm starting to cut the lid uh, I'll tidy that up and yeah, I'll be back in two minutes. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I've put a circle plastic which is just under 5 inch which fits my net pot. Obviously, whatever template you use or beef, whatever size net pot you've used, you've chosen. Um, permanent marker, I've used red, it seems to show up slightly better on the, the black. Mark it round. Other than like the piece of tape, obviously. You won't, um, you won't grab that, but you can pretty much work them yourself. Once that's marked on, remove that. Marking the last little sections if your marker take your sharp knife and uh, if you've got a good blade this should go just smooth straight through like butter Get bored, this gets boring, feel free to skip to the next part. Don't know if you can see properly how I'm doing it, but I've got the knife halfway in and then just smoothly pulling the knife round to try and make a um, smooth hole all the way around. And as I said earlier, actually, this is a nice new blade, this should slide through like butter. If uh, the net pot doesn't fit in straight away, you can make slight adjustments just with your sharp knife again, just to uh, make sure that you fit in nice and snug. Let's try that. 
to it's close but still comes up slightly so if I look for me if I look inside on the camera I can see exactly where I need to take just a slight little bit more off so if I pull this round slide it round slightly a bit more right tiniest bit of work and it's back on right next step will be drilling your hole at the bottom I'm going to draw my hole the same for the um, water line I mean water indicator just where I've put the hole for the air line so roughly anywhere about there and as it's slightly curved it will um, hold itself up. You can put a cable tie through there if you need to but yeah that's um, part one ready for next part two. Right so now I'm going to drill the um, 20 mil how the bottom with my 20 mil jaw piece to fit my 13 mil grommet. So this part, do it. Try and take it slow. Cause if you do it too fast, you'll crack straight through the plastic and you broke your tub. Wasted your money. You're not gonna get no refund. So if you do it slow. you can't feel but it's it's quite warm so when you're putting it through the heat helps because this is only a masonry drill bit I've used a masonry because the um, the end isn't is quite more it's more blunt than a wood drill so when I'm trying to drill it through it won't catch a plastic and rip it everywhere so if I just tidy this up quickly with the um, knife again Same as on the inside, there's um, like a lip on the inside of um, where it's come through. Just take that out. This is where you can see it's near enough, like pushed through. So then just tidy that up slightly. Hasn't got to be perfect, but the um, tidy you can get, the better. The better seal you'll get when it comes to um, once you've got the bucket filled. Because bearing in mind it's going to take about 10 litres, about 10 litres of water once the whole bucket's filled. I'm going to attempt to get this in um, without washing up liquid, but if you do find it starts getting difficult, um, feel free to put washing up liquid on your grommet before you put it in. When this grommet goes in, it should be like a super tight fit, otherwise, you are going to get leaks. Um, that one's near enough going in on its own without having to put the um, washing liquid on. As you can see, that is through, nice through, nice tight. Next, your elbow. This one might wash up liquid, but then again, I might be lucky. So, got that through. Give it a wiggle. Right, now we've got our elbow through. Time to take your 13 mil, your half inch pipe. Clear pipe, it's any one really, as long as you can still see where the water level is. Obviously nothing black, but something that will try not to let so much light through. Preferably like a green, because that's non photoperiodic And um, it won't try and make some algae growth. Because with white, sometimes you do get algae growth right now that's on as I said you can cable tie that there if you wanted to but um, at the moment it will hold on its own so right step two 
Step three, I'll be placing the airstone, gluing the airstone to the bottom. Gotta go and get my hot glue gun. Airstone to bottom, um, hook the airline through, we'll fill it up and um, show like make sure there's no leaks, hopefully. Once that's through, put the net pot in and then I'll fill it with water to where it's just about an inch below the net pot. Then when I've got it just an inch below the net pot, I'm gonna mark it on my water level indicator with my red pen. Then that way, every time I need to refill or when I've got a plant growing, um, I know my look level's perfect because once you've got these systems going, you wanna try and aim for about an inch below your net pot. When they're still young seedlings, either water from the top or um, fill it to slightly over, slightly on the bottom of the water, um, of the net pot. So, see you in part three. Okay, so my hot glue gun's at temperature now. You want to try and put quite a decent amount in the bottom of the tub. So that the airstone will stay fixed for a good time. You're best to hold it for about 60 seconds or so, or just leave it in there, just while it dries. And once it's dried, you'll be fine. They're pretty hard to move. I mean, the glue's not amazing, but once it's in, it pretty much stays. So, once that's dried, I'll come back in step four, and I'll cut the airline net pot on, fill the net pot, well, I might fill the net pot, fill water, and mark my level. Right, so, now your glue's dried, your next step, take your airline, through the pre-drilled hole that I drilled earlier, 7mm drill bit, straight through, straight down to your airline, I mean your airstone, see if you can get on there for a tighter fit. Right, once your airline's connected up to your airstone, to the centre, I've put a black tray underneath just in case there is any um, unexpected leaks. Never usually is, but always best to be um, safe and sorry. I've got about 10, near enough 12 litres of water ready to test. I'm going to put it in now and do it. I'll put the lid on once I've filled it up and mark my water level one inch below the net pot. moment there's no leaks currently From this there's probably about roughly about an inch so now I know there's about an inch roughly underneath the net pot and, um, sorry about the uh, shaky camera let's reposition it back now that it's about an inch I will on the side mark my water level with my red marker so that I know that is roughly one inch below my net pot. So when I've got everything in and um, my clay pebbles in, uh, optimal once a plant is rooted out, that's where you want to pretty much try and aim to keep your water level when you're topping up. So, right, that's it at the moment. Um, I'll go and get my air pump, 
get it plugged in, get it bubbling, and then I'll take the camera off my tripod and I'll give you a quick view of the finished product basically. So, see you in a second. So, the final step of the test. As you can see, we have no leaks. Um, that's quite, quite bad. But my water level indicator on the side, which I've got filtered one inch below the net pot. Inside with the air stone. Um, I'll turn this on now. I use a four outlet pump, which is, I can run four buckets at once. And you can also go low to high, like so. Let's turn this on. This is the low setting. Camera. This is your low setting if you do it up. If you can see the water starts rippling, that means that that will be good aeration. If you see one air stone is easily sufficient for this 120 litre bucket. So when that's on, lift the top on, the air will stay in there the uh, net part and if I leave it just a few seconds you will see the bubbles will start to wet the bottom of the net part so <laughs> excuse the noisy pump that's my tutorial on a handmade deep water culture bucket system if you like please rate comment subscribe and um, have a good day take care